travelers. Good day to you. Hope you're well. It's the end of May. We're getting close to the 4th of July. And you might be thinking to yourself, hey, what about them, their uh, dessert parties? Or is, is that something I can do? Uh, is it worth it? I'm going to show you <clears throat> what it is. More importantly, I'm going to show you how to make a reservation here. And let's, let's, let's see what we can do. It works kind of like a, a, a dining reservation. And what you do to get one, uh, it's... Well, you, I haven't found a way to do it through the app, but I can do it through the web browser on your phone or the computer. I'm using a computer today. And what you're looking for is a thing called the Enchanting Extras Collection. And uh, when what this will do is this will show you all, all of the extras that exist throughout uh, Walt Disney World. Uh, so the first dessert party we are going to look at is the one in the Magic Kingdom. And you might be thinking, oh, okay, well, that should be easy. There's only only one dessert party, right? Y yes, that's for the one fireworks show. But there are actually three dessert parties. Check this out. There's one for seats where you can sit in a covered area. Cool if the, you're, you, you know, you don't want to stand. Uh, then there's ones where you can stand. Uh, it has a much better view than the, the seated one. Uh, as a matter of fact, take a look at this picture here. It shows you like standing in front of uh, Walt and then Mickey there in front of the castle. No, that's that is absolutely not where you're sitting. And then there's uh, so there's one where you're standing. Actually, this is kind of the view. You're a little further away than this, but this is a little bit more accurate. There's the pre party where you go in and you eat. Uh, you, you sit and eat and then you go to a special gated off area to watch your fireworks. And then there's one where you go to your area to watch the fireworks, and then you go and sit down. And while all of humanity is disembarking on a magical journey to either the next ride or probably home, most it's called the mass exodus. But let's go see if we can get ourselves uh, seats and treats and sweets or, or whatever the heck. Let, let's go in here and you, you check availability. Sometimes it lets you uh, select a range, which is nice. It gives you the price from 107, the meaning that's the, the cheapest you will get it. You select number of guests. Um, I'm just going to pick three. And then I'm going to select a date range. You know what? Let's pretend you're going during the fourth. You, actually, you can select up to two weeks, I believe. So let's go here. All right. Now, uh, you can go 10 days. So here we go. Are there any available? No, none available for, for seating. All right, so let's go a little bit further out. How about here? The, this is the max. We can only go out 60 days, and it will let us go through the 24th. Let's take three people. There is none available. Ah, <clears throat> but take a look. There are some available closer to the end of the stay. And these, these are much harder to get. There's only a handful. Well, okay, okay. There's probably <laughs> not literally a handful. you got to be careful saying a handful. There's probably, oh, maybe, I don't know, 100, 200 seats in, in this area. So this is a very, very limited supply. So we can get them. We can't get them for the fourth, uh, which is during the perhaps, in my opinion, fantasy in the sky is the best. This is still a great fireworks show, in my opinion, maybe a little better than the one before. But that is, uh, yeah, you, you can get treats and seats. Uh, what about when I'm going? Uh, I will be there in June. Uh, so I'm going to pick the fourth. Nope, I'm not there in the fourth. I forgot. I'm there. <laughs> 11th through the 17th. So let's, let's take a peek here. Are there any during my date range? Still three people? No. Sad. All right. So that's that's uh, the, that's the more expensive one. Uh, you know what? I didn't show you the price. So let me uh, go back and just redo that for the, the, the last bit here. And I will show you the price. Remember, it said starting at, you know, a, a little bit more than 100, 104. The actual price is, uh, it looks like about 106 a person uh, with tax of 342. So, you know, that's, it's not super, you know, 114 a person with, with, uh, with, with tax. Could be worse. <laughs> All right, let's go back and let's see our options for the pre-party. 
we'll, we'll see what is uh, what's going on here. All right, so we got the Magic Kingdom selected. We'll go down. Let's do the pre-party. All right, now it's going to load just like before. We're going to check availability. And the, the, the desserts, by the way, it's uh, they're good desserts. And I believe they even have some adult beverages, if you like the wine. All right, so the end of the month, I kept my search from the last time. So let's uh, see what's going on. And it's available for all of them. Uh, it is all of them are available. So that's, that's nice. But what about for the fourth? Do the eighth. Survey says... Next, yeah, fantasy in the sky is not available uh, for the for the pre one. So, which is good <clears throat> for this one, you can see fantasy in the sky pretty good almost from anywhere. Actually, except in the seats, fantasy in the sky is not super good in the seats because all the fireworks going on behind you, you literally can't can't see. But uh, so okay, so there's a lot of availability. What about during the time that I will be there? Let's just do a due diligence check. Go back. Now I remembered when I'm there. All right, here we go. Survey says, yeah, a lot of, lot of availability if it's what I wanted to do. I don't. I don't really want to. Uh, this is a little under 100 a person. So $300. Okay. There's a lot of things I can do with $300. Now, will I do this for New Year's Eve? Yes. And if you're going to do this during the 4th of July, uh, or really any holiday, Thanksgiving, Christmas, uh, any holiday, you really need to be Johnny on the spot on the, the 60th day. Go in there and get it because uh, they all of them sell out, uh, sell out really quickly. As a matter of fact, I checked a couple days ago, and this wasn't available earlier. All right. Uh, let's go and check out the post party. So resume the search. You're, getting, you're probably getting the, the cadence here. This is the post party. You watch the fireworks, and then afterwards you go and sit, sit down uh, and enjoy some desserts and beverages, check availability. Can I do a post party? Normally when I, after, after fireworks, I, I don't have the stomach to, well, I, I kind of just want to go either ride a ride. Oh, I look at this. I can do any of them. I could do any of them I want. That's nice. Except for Wednesday. You can't do that one. So not any of them that you want. Uh, but wait, hey, let's take a look. What about for the 4th of July? Survey says... Yeah. Still three people. No, even that one's gone. So you have options. I mean, this is, you know, kind of kind of last minute. Uh, there are other enchanting extras that I'll show you. Uh, I check, well, probably more than I should. And I haven't uh, been given these options yet. But there are some down in Epcot uh, at the Rose and Crown and Spice Road table. And for their, their fireworks show down there. I just, I just plum haven't seen it yet. It's not necessarily a dessert party. It's a dining package. Uh, more of a, a dinner for Rose and Crown, certainly, than Spice Road, which... Spice Road near, as I can tell, appears to just be a bunch of snacks. But uh, here you can't do a, a range. They make you search by by times. And I, I, I just go out to the last day available and just see what's up. No, nothing. There's uh, Thursdays are pretty pretty low key. Yeah, I, so you just kind of rinse and repeat. And I, I just haven't seen anything available. But if this is something you, you like to do, you know, keep at it. You know, uh, as they say, you can't win if you don't play. So we are going to scroll down and check out Spice Road. This one, actually, I've had luck. I've booked this one before. Uh, but I have not booked it post-COVID. Yes, uh, and, and the cool thing about this is, while other people, you know, have to stand and watch the fireworks, there's, there's places to sit. Uh, but predominantly, on, on the whole, you, you have to stand. Uh, here you get to get to sit. And hey, look at this right here. Boom, 8 o'clock. Boom, Spice Road table, 8 o'clock. You can book it. Uh, hey, let's take, let's just see. Uh, when I'm there, 
I arrive on Sunday. Is it? No. <laughs> uh, that's too bad. That is, uh, what about, let's just, you know, we're already here. Let's just check out the, the whole week. And see, you can see how nice and easy it is. Check back. Sometimes people cancel. Sometimes uh, you do have to prepay for this. Uh, if I, it's worth mentioning again if I haven't mentioned it. No, no nothing available. But we did uh, we did luck out on the twenty fourth. Oh, uh, must have. Oh, Thursday. Thursday is when I tried. Thursday the twentieth. Boom! Look at that. That's that's pretty incredible. So there you go. And uh, you can go make your reservation. I, I won't because I won't be there on the 20th. So this is good for somebody else. So anyway, I hope this demo uh, kind of showing you the price, showing you how to book it, where to book it. Uh, do it through the Disney app. Hope that helps you. And uh, I will see you on the next video. Travel safely and enjoy.